Hello, and welcome to this episode on adding middleware in a net HTTP project with Go. Middleware is a powerful concept that allows you to run code before or after your main handler logic. It is ideal for tasks like logging, authentication, and error handling. Today we'll walk through the process of creating and using middleware in a Go web server. Let's dive in. Here we have a simple GoNet HTTP server that renders this simple text Hello World on the root URL. We have another API, Blogs, which reads data from the database and lists the blogs on this page. Let's look at the code. We will begin with the main function. The server runs on port 8080. These two function calls create a connection with the database and run database migrations. Then we create a new mux with the new serve mux method. Next, there are two APIs. The first one is slash, mapped to hello handler. The other API is blogs, and it is mapped to the blogs index function. In the handler, we read the blogs from the database using the model function. Using this template, we render the data in an HTML page. Back in the main function, the server is started here using the mux and the server address we created earlier. Let's create our first middleware. This middleware accepts a function of this signature. This is the signature of handler functions. We pass the handler function here. It also returns a function with the same signature. Here we return the function. Within this function, we have added this print. It gets printed before the handler is called. It resembles the actions to be taken before the handler is called. Next, we call the handler function that was passed in the middleware. And, after the handler function, there is another print simulating the action that can be taken after the handler function call. Now let's use this middleware for one of the APIs. We can simply chain the middleware with the handler like this. The handler became an argument to the middleware. Let's test this. Reload this page. Here are the prints. This is printed before the handler, and this one after the handler is called. Let's make it interesting. Suppose we have another middleware, and for a handler we want to add more than one middleware. We will copy this middleware and create a new one. Let's call this second middleware. Change the prints. Now let's change these two middlewares like this. Restart the server. Let's reload the page. Here. The execution starts with the first middleware, then the second middleware is called. Then, in the end, again it circles back to the first middleware. This kind of middleware can be added to individual API handlers. What if we want to add middleware to all APIs? Let's see how we can do so. We will add a logger that will be called on all API requests. This struct, logger will act as our middleware handler for logging requests. Here, the logger struct has a single field. Handler is an HTTP handler, which is an interface representing any type that has a serve HTTP method. This field will hold the actual handler that processes the request after the logging is done. Next, we implement the serve HTTP method for our logger struct. 
This method will handle the request by passing it to the real handler and logging the request details. This method is implemented for the logger struct. This records the start time of the request. Then, it calls the serve HTTP method of the wrapped handler passing along the response writer and request. This forwards the request to the actual handler. After the handler has processed the request, it logs the HTTP method, URL path, and the time taken to process the request. Now, we create a constructor function called newLogger. This function will construct a new logger middleware handler. The new logger function takes one argument, handler to wrap. This is the HTTP handler that we want to wrap with the logging middleware. The function returns a pointer to a new logger instance, initialized with the provided handler. Let's see how to use this logging middleware in a net HTTP project. We'll wrap our existing handler with the logger middleware when setting up our server. We create a new logger with the new logger function, pass mux in it. Let's say the new mux is mux with logger. Now we will replace this mux with the new one. Let's restart the server. Refresh the page. These are the prints of middlewares we implemented earlier. This last print comes from the logger middleware. Here is the HTTP method. Then the API and the time taken by the API. Let's try the other API. We get the logger prints for this as well. And there you have it. We've successfully added middleware to our GoNet HTTP project. By using middleware, we've enhanced our server's capabilities, allowing us to handle tasks like logging, authentication, and error handling more efficiently and cleanly. I hope this was helpful. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more Go programming tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding.